Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Jamie McKenzie. So excited to be here with the Essentially Powerful team to be talking a little bit tonight about the nervous system and specifically how Young Living essential oils and essential oil infused products can help you nourish and care for um, the nervous system. So let me start, actually, I'd love to get a little read here. When you hear nervous system, what do you think of? What comes to mind? I'd love to hear from you guys. You can use that little chat. What's something that comes to mind when you think about the nervous system? Or you hear the word nervous system? Just to make sure we're all on the same page. So Rachel's saying stress. Mm-hmm. Anything else that comes to mind when we think of the nervous system? Brain and spine, okay. Um, spine, anxiety, okay. Emotions, okay, great. Well, so tonight uh, we are going to kind of break this into three parts, okay? And we're gonna try, we're gonna try to end this by nine, or like earlier than nine if possible, because I really need to get myself into bed and care for my own nervous system. <laughs> so number one, we're gonna talk about the different aspects of the nervous system and what they are. Um, we are going to talk about um, trauma responses because we all um, experience trauma responses a little bit differently. And this past year, as we know, has been kind of one heck of a experience for lack of a better word. And we've all handled things a touch differently. So it's fascinating to look at um, trauma responses. And when I say trauma, I'm not necessarily meaning big, uh, profound traumas. Trauma can be defined by just anything that goes a little bit like out of what we're expecting. And so there can be great big traumas. There can be teeny, teeny traumas. Like I broke one of my favorite glasses yesterday. That was trauma for a second, you know, and I just picked up the pieces and went on with my day. But anything that kind of like affects our body where we have to stop and think and kind of regulate. Okay. And our nervous system is always regulating for us. There's things that we can do to help the body regulate a little bit more. Um, all right, so why, I see a lot of people are hopping on. Um, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Jamie McKenzie. I've been with um, Young Living for um, quite, quite a bit now. I love these products. I love this healthy lifestyle. I love taking care of myself. And I love that Young Living has an entire line of products that actually help to nourish and feed and care for the nervous system in some ways that you may not have even realized. Um, so whether you are just getting started on your wellness journey or whether you've been with us for a while, we welcome you here and we're excited to share this information with you tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through, as I said, different types of nervous system. We're gonna talk a little bit about trauma responses. We're gonna get into what specific Young Living products can help. To be honest, I could probably just put up the word frankincense and end the meeting and we could just be done, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But I will dive a little bit more in with you. Um, and, and then I'm gonna share, for those of you that might not already have your own Young Living customer account, does anyone here not have a Young Living customer account? Or is anybody, I just kind of, that's helpful to know because everybody here already a Young Living customer and you have your own account and you can go in and order when you need. Okay, because that's kind of helpful. If someone's brand, brand new, I can go over the ways you can order. Um, but I may even just skip that if we don't have anybody like brand new on. Okay, so I have a couple slides for you. We're gonna get a little fancy tonight. All right, we're gonna start, um, let's see. Gotta bear with me a little bit. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start talking about the different types of the nervous system, okay? So we have the sympathetic nervous system, we have the parasympathetic nervous system, and we have the social nervous system. And the best way that I remember, I was a third grade teacher in another life. And so the best way I remember is I love mnemonic devices. So I take the S in sympathetic and that reminds me that things are speeding up, okay? I take the P in parasympathetic. I think I spelled that wrong because I just literally put the slide together like 10 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> I apologize, don't, don't screenshot this one. <laughs> I've, I've done better work. I just noticed the spelling mistake. Um, it's been a long day. Um, 
So parasympathetic, just think pause, think slowing down, okay? And then the social nervous system is really interesting. This is where our body and our mind kind of like responds to what other people are doing. What is everyone else doing? What is his or her face doing? And what is that face telling me? And that actually impacts our nervous system, which is kind of fascinating. All right, we're gonna turn that, turn that slide off for a second. Um, okay, so let me just pull my, pull my notes up here. I have a few different screens, so kind of bear with me if this is like a touch um, cumbersome this, this evening. Um, is the screen share stopped? Can you see me again? Yeah, okay. Okay, awesome, thank you. Close this down. It's always a little tricky with all these. Just kind of give me a little, little grace this evening. <laughs> it's like all these windows open. Uh, okay. And of course this is closed down. Okay. So let's start with the sympathetic nervous system. All right. Um, the sympathetic nervous system, I want, it, it kicks in. Okay. It's part of our, our whole nervous system. And we're just going to go over this really quick, but this kicks in when, um, where's my, okay. This kicks in when um, our heart rate um, speeds up, okay? Our breathing rate increases, our saliva will usually decrease, our pupils will usually dilate, okay? Our digestive activity will usually slow down a little bit, um, our, what else is interesting to share with you? Um, it actually at this time when we are, and think about this, like when we're really, really ramped up, our bladder can often loosen, you know, like can, can, um, relax. So you think about like, if you ever were to get like really jostled and scared and you might like pee a little bit. Um, so that's why that's kind of why, because your bladder, bladder muscles are actually relax are actually relaxing. With the parasympathetic nervous system, this is where your pupils constrict. Um, they dilate when um, they dilate with the sympathetic. Um, your breathing might slow. Okay, your heart rate slows when you're when we're nourishing that parasympathetic response. Or there are things we can do. And we're going to talk about that tonight. Things we can do to actually help that parasympathetic response kick in. That, that calming space. I don't think any of us really like strive to be like nervous, anxious, like crazy people running around, right? I, I don't know about you. I like being productive, but um, I don't like being anxious, worrying, ramped up. Um, our, our bladder will actually contract when our parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. Okay, so just to give you guys like a couple of things there. Um, when your system is any is under any type of like emotional or physical stress, um, our sympathetic, okay, the one that kind of ramps up, that's like the, I don't want to say scary, but S can also mean like scary, but the one that's like, uh, right, it becomes dominant in order to release energy to the tissues so that your body can respond appropriately to protect yourself. So you've probably heard of fight or flight. Um, and I used to teach that all the time to my childbirth clients when I taught childbirth classes and worked as a doula, because what I was teaching these clients to do and what I was teaching these ladies to do was stay very, 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 very relaxed in a parasympathetic state. So when they had a contraction, they did not go into fight or flight mode because when a woman in labor goes into fight or flight mode, what happens is all of the blood, all of the oxygen goes to the extremities, goes to the hands to fight, goes to the feet to run. And then the oxygen isn't where it needs to be in order to have productive, powerful uterine contractions, which would then open the cervix so your baby can come out, right? So it's kind of interesting. Um, there are so many um, bodily functions and phases throughout our lives that this parasympathetic and this sympathetic nervous system juggling, so to speak, um, comes into play. And our body, you guys, is like working between these two all the time. It's really interesting. So even if you're in perceived threat, maybe like there's not a real threat, but if you're watching a scary movie and it's like a perceived that threat, your body's gonna jump into a sympathetic nervous system, okay? 
So usually even in normal, relatively stable conditions, like right now I'm teaching to you, um, your sympathetic nervous system is probably more dominant because it what it what um, it's what maintains your psychological uh, functioning. Okay, so if that makes sense. On the flip side, when the body needs to return to a restful state, when it's time to go to sleep, maybe if you were to sit down and do some yoga, some breathing, some meditation, things like that, um, the body will kind of flip into this parasympathetic nervous system, which will inhibit the stress response and more into a rest and digest rather than that like fight or flight, all right? So the parasympathetic, the pause, that's why I remember that, has the same effect, um, an opposite effect of like an adrenaline rush, if you think about that. So we have an adrenaline rush in a stressful situation. We have a cortisol stress hormone increase in a stressful situation. Parasympathetic is the opposite, is the rest and digest, all right? Now the social, everyone still see me okay? Because I'm, all right, cool. Let me just make sure everyone is like in the room here and don't, no one needs to be admitted in or anything. All right, and if you have any questions, go ahead and, and put them in the chat. I'm um, just reading my notes on another screen, so I will, um, I'll toggle back and forth. The social nervous system is really interesting. Um, I remember in college uh, one night, like two in the morning, the fire alarm went off in the middle of the night and I went to college in a really, really cold uh, area of Northern New Hampshire up in the White Mountains. And um, the fire alarm went off. And so we're all like looking around at each other, like, what do we do? Like, is this real? There was no planned drill. Usually they'll tell us if it's a drill. Of course, it was just, you know, some crazy, you know, college student pulling the, the um, <laughs> pulling the thing. Um, but what do we say, like when we're looking around at each other, right? Like, should we go? We're looking at people's body language. We're looking at people's faces. And so what's really, really fascinating about the social nervous system is we actually have nerves in our body, up and down our spine that control our facial expressions, control our eyes, control our nose muscles, control our mouths. And so um, not only are we as individuals, our social nervous system is um, the expressions that we make, but it's also how we perceive and how we view other facial expressions. That's why these facial expressions and having contact with people is so important. I don't know about you, but this mask thing I'm really struggling with because I can like only see people's eyes and usually people's eyes aren't really moving. So um, it's, it's difficult to be able to navigate um, our own nervous system when we really can't see people's faces. Just a little like interesting side note there, okay? Um, all right, any questions so far? the chat here. Thank you guys for being patient. You should see all the screens I have open right now. Okay, so now I'm going to talk very briefly about um, the trauma responses that are, we have four trauma responses. Let's see if I can find this. <laughs> okay. Um, four trauma responses. Usually the well-known ones are fight or flight. Um, see all these, see all these screens here? All right, um, not ending the meeting. So let's make this a little prettier. Okay. So trauma responses, um, we have fight, we have flight, we have freeze, we have fawn, all right? And so fight is when we have this like temper or angry outburst. This is when something happens and we're automatically going into some type of angry outburst. We might criticize, we might rage, we might be extra controlling, we might be overly bossy. If you can think of somebody in your life that demands perfection from self and others, they might actually be working through some unresolved trauma. It's really interesting. This is not a night to dive super deep into this, but um, but trauma and trauma responses are a big part of how our nervous system right uh, is regulated. Um, flight is might be yeah running away from a situation, but it also could be if you're somebody who overworks, if you're anxious and panicky, if you have lots of worrying, if you have obsessive thoughts and behaviors over and over, if you're always on the go. Um, freeze is when you might just avoid human connection. You might kind of detach or go into hibernation mode. Um, you might have analysis paralysis and struggle to make decisions. This is where you might have some brain fog or kind of be a little bit spaced out. Um, fawn, which is um, a newer one that's been added in the, in the most recent years. This is where um, if we're in traumatic situations, rather than actually advocating for ourselves, 
um, we might have a hard time setting boundaries. We want to fit in, so we do, we might want to avoid conflict. We might want to speak up um, in situations of. Um, and there's a great book here, you guys, called The Body Keeps Score by um, uh, Bessel van der Kolk. Okay, and he talks a lot about different types of trauma. Um, it's not a light read at all. So just like reader beware it does get into some pretty intense stuff. Um, but this is where if somebody was in a really, really traumatic situation, um, maybe an abusive situation, they don't wanna make waves, they're just gonna keep the peace. Um, this is someone that might have a hard time saying no. Okay, so this is very difficult to fit into the next you know, 40 minutes, um, but I wanted to share with you what the, what the um, types of the nervous system are what the trauma responses are. And what's really important, guys, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is it's time to slow down enough so that you can begin to listen to messages that your body is telling us. There are what, 20 of you on here live right now and probably a whole bunch of you watching the recording. Every single one of us has experienced some type of trauma and we might be a fighter, a flighter, a freezer, or a fawner. And you might even see characteristics in all four, which is actually common depending on the situation. And so if we are constantly working in one, two, three, or four of those trauma responses, we aren't getting quiet enough to actually pay attention to what's happening to our body. And so what happens guys, if our nervous system is out of alignment, um, if our cortisol levels are very high, actually, I just need to pull up a, a little list here for you. Um, oh my goodness. All right, I'm done with that. I'm done with that little screen share. If our cortisol levels are really high, um, it can bring out um, a whole mix of problems. Um, so let me just read you just a, a short list there. Um, so the cortisol guys, that's like the grandmother of all stress hormones. So this is where you might begin to feel either slow little whispers or loud, loud screams from your body. Your body's sending you messages every day. And some of us are way too busy to even be listening. But when you actually begin to slow down and listen, you may start to notice that you have fatigue, you might have irritability, you might have headaches, you might have intestinal problems, um, high increased levels of cortisol, that stress hormone can create anxiety and depression, it can create weight gain, um, specifically around the belly, it can create increased blood pressure, it can create low libido, um, erectile dysfunction in men and in women, uh, irregular ovulation or uh, difficult menstrual periods. If your cortisol levels are high, you might have trouble recovering from exercise. You might not sleep well. You might have trouble falling asleep or you may have um, a hard time staying asleep. So like the list goes on and on and on. And so um, we want to do our very best to keep our body in a parasympathetic state so that we aren't constantly in fight, flight, freeze, or fawn mode. And so that our cortisol levels can stay a little bit lower. Okay. Does that, does that make sense so far? All right. So this is where um, young living comes into play. So I am not giving any information tonight. I should mention that is curing, diagnosing, treating. Um, I am just going to share with you some of the most popular Young Living products and oils um, that have been known to support the nervous system. All right, I want you guys to start to do your own research. There are a ton of research studies. Um, if you go to PubMed or NCBI, um, you will find study after study after study on aromatherapy and the nervous system. Um, there's one study that I actually pulled up and I wanna read a little bit of it to you. It says aromatherapy benefits to the nervous system regulation. This was for an elementary school facility in Taiwan. And so in this study, they used bergamot um, for like 10 minutes. Um, I want to like scroll down. They, I was like looking through, they also used lavender, geranium, rosemary. Um, and I'd have to like dig, dig deeper, but those are like the ones that, that came out, um, that came out 
stood out to me most when I was reading the um, the abstract. And so it was so fascinating, you guys, because they found, find the exact quote, that th what they did is they measured the um, autonomic nervous system parameters and they recorded five minutes before and five minutes after the um, application of just a spray, an aroma spray, okay? And it said that results showed that there were significant decreases in blood pressure, heart rate, um, and for okay, I'm whatever. There were all these variables and stuff. I'm not going to read you that. I want you if you're if you like the science, if you like the research, I want you to find these studies and and read them. It's really interesting. So there's a lot of research behind this. Um, I find that really fascinating. Check the chat. Okay. Oh, I'm glad that you're. I'm glad that your daughter and husband are all better. That's great. I'm glad they're all fine. That's 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 very nice. <laughs> so it's so nice to hear these these positive stories. All right, so we're gonna go through a few of the different um, categories of Young Living products. Okay, first we're gonna start with personal care. All right, there are a whole list of personal care products that Young Living offers, I'm actually gonna take my rings off when I put this on, that just by simply applying it to your body and just smelling the amazing oils that they have added to the products, you will automatically nourish your body to switch over into a parasympathetic response. So simple, so simple. So this is one of my favorites. This is the Coconut Lime Body Butter. It is so, I just ordered a brand new one. It's like literally brand new. I'm so excited. It is so soft and so luxurious. Honestly, even just rubbing your fingers in the lotion is so relaxing. Um, oh, I just realized that my spotlight, the recording of this video is not going to be great. <laughs> I'm spotlighting the wrong person that whole time. Um, so just taking a little bit. I love putting this on when I get out of the shower, but so I just gently rub it on my hands. If, does anyone else like putting lotion on their hands? Like how nice that is and just how nourishing that is. And you can actually give yourself a little reflexology massage. This does not, you know, once you get these, you know, everyone needs lotion, right? But once you get this body butter into your hand, into your home, massaging your own hand does not cost a thing. You don't even need to go to a massage therapist to do that. So you can go in here to some of your pressure points with the coconut um, lime. And then I really recommend smelling it, just taking a really, really, really nice deep breath and just enjoying the experience. The more pleasurable experiences you can incorporate into your day and having a product line like Young Living at your disposal, like you're light years ahead of people that are using the junk. Um, I think we have all, um, you know, product users here in this group, but just in case anybody's new and you don't know this, um, these products and these oils are out out of the park better in terms of quality. Um, we start with organic, um, actually it's almost beyond organic, it's like a biodynamic farming practice, non-GMO seeds, the cultivation of the seeds at the farms, top, top notch, no pesticides. A lot of time they will use um, goats and different animals to eat the weeds. They use a lot of biodynamic um, weeding practices. And then they're able to cultivate and distill. They don't add anything to the oil. So when you're looking at frankincense, all that's in here is frankincense oil. They haven't added a, um, a filler. They haven't added any synthetics. They haven't added any fragrance. This is the real deal. When you get a bottle of lavender, it's lavender. When you get a bottle of cedarwood, it's cedarwood. This is all that's in here. And it's not only is it just cedarwood or just frankincense or just lavender, it's the purest of the pure. Okay. And um, I just heard a story from um, a friend the other day who is very into the energetics of the oils, which is a topic for a completely different time. But um, she, her friend brought over frankincense from another brand and they did some energy testing on it. And it was, she said it was wild. She said it was such a profound difference between the two. Um, okay, so 
What are some of your, since we have a lot of um, people here who already have their own Young Living accounts, what are some of your favorite personal care products? The body butter is one of my favorites, especially for the winter. I've actually taken my makeup off with it. Um, I use it on my neck, on my chest and my arms. Um, it's wonderful after the shower. If you have a like foot scrubber, like a pumice scrubber in your shower, and then to soak your feet with this after the shower, it leaves your feet nourished and soft. Um, and remember you're getting this aromatherapy every time you're using these products. Um, and all of the nervous system benefits from these different plants. This has lime and um, my eyes aren't so great. So I don't even know. Oh, orange is in here. Um, lemon, mandarin, there's spearmint in here. Lemon myrtle. Oh my gosh, if you're not using lemon myrtle in the diffuser this time of year, it is so springy and so bright. Um, so I love this. I also love the entire Young Living skincare line and I make a ritual out of it. Um, <laughs> Matt was making fun of me last night, right? What did you say last night when I was like, you were in bed? Do oh, you try taking your time to go into bed? Yeah, Matt's like, yeah, what are you doing? Like what, like, like where, process. yeah, 30 minutes. He's like, where are you? Like, what are you doing? You know, Matt, like, whatever. So the like, lights are out and I'm like. Yeah, Matt takes two seconds to get into bed. Uh, I'm in the bathroom you know, like brushing my teeth slowly. I'm taking off all my makeup with my Mara um, cleansing oil, which has all the amazing essential oils into it. And I make it a beautiful ritual. So at the end, I'm going to go through like, nice a, oh, he said, I smell nice when I get into bed. So like, that's a plus. <laughs> that's a plus. Um, but rather than rushing through these self-care rituals, taking amazing care of yourself when you take the time and invest in yourself and your products and things that help you feel good and look good and smell good, but not in like a fragrancy toxic way, this spills out into the people all around you. So when you're nourished and you're calm and you're taking care of yourself, notice what happens to the lives around you. It's kind of amazing. So I'm seeing some people are saying the CBD beauty boost, that is a dream. And, you, and it lasts forever. I actually have mine upstairs, but I did grab the peppermint CBD here. Um, but it's in a bottle just like this. You literally take like, oh my gosh, you could take maybe like two drops worth, like just two drops and rub it all over your face before bed and in the morning. So lovely for the skin. So all of the skincare products, and I'm gonna show you something really funny on the website in a minute, all the products that contain frankincense because frankincense is so good for the nervous system. Um, all the skincare products, most of them do have frankincense in them. So you can't go wrong, whether you're using the orange blossom on your face, um, whether you're using art, whether you're using the Bloom skincare line. What I love about Young Living and their skincare is they have different skincare lines for different types of skin and different, um, you know, different needs. So in the winter time, I'm usually not using, um, I'm sorry, in the, in the summertime, I have a little bit more oil in my face, I'm not as dry, and I'm not using the, um, the Mara oil as much. Um, in the winter, I can't get enough of that, and then I load on my, my CBD Rose Beauty Boost um, and like all the oils. Um, okay, so the personal care like gets an A plus for me. Um, everything from the shampoo and conditioner, if you haven't used the mint lavender shampoo and conditioner, when you get into the shower and you, I have said this, I've been saying this for the last like eight years, when you shampoo your hair with that mint um, and lavender conditioner, it is like you are in your own spa. And Deb is saying she likes to put a few drops of eucalyptus in the shower. I do the same thing. Um, my new obsession oil is actually Loris Nobilis, which is bay leaf. And, um, it comes in the Vitality, but I choose like, so you can ingest that one, but I use it. I use it topically in my diffuser all the time, but I actually have an extra one because I order like two every month. And I, cause I go through that one like water and probably since last March, when I found out how good it was for the respiratory system, I was like, oop, Floris Nobilis is my 2020 and 2021 staple. So I keep that one in my shower and every shower I put like a drop or two at the bottom so that I'm getting all of those opening and relaxing multi-sensory approach to having your uh, parasympathetic nervous system kick in. And then I'll take a little bit and I'll rub it on my chest. And these are just little rituals that you can incorporate throughout your day that don't take long, that really have huge impact, like really, really huge impact. Um, 
Okay, so I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk about with the personal care. I mean, I just, I, I love, the, even their lip gloss, their lip gloss for me is like a beautiful ritual in itself. It has a little bit of peppermint in it and it's so smooth. And um, having that lip gloss in my pocket or in my purse um, really adds a lot of pleasure to my day. And I put it on, even if I'm not going anywhere, I just put it on because I love the smell. I love how it nourishes my lips. Um, and it's just, it's a relaxing calming experience. I don't know about you, but like having somebody or something touch your lips, that can trigger a calming response. So just by putting on lip gloss or using the Young Living Lip Balm, these are things that can remind our body, okay, parasympathetic, come on, do your thing, which is really cool. Um, all right, let's get into some of the oils and then we're going to talk about a couple of the supplements. So Frankincense. Frankincense, if you do a little bit of research on this oil, it is the grandmother of supporting the nervous system. So I love putting, I'm going to show you what I do. I just take it straight from the bottle. I'm generous with my frankincense, three, four drops. I rub my hands together. I put it all over my neck. I do not dilute it. It's a very gentle oil. Dilute it if you have more sensitive skin. I don't need to, and I like it super strong. And I will rub it all over my shoulders. And I will actually, I do this almost every morning. I will actually give my shoulders a massage, just a little one. It takes like two minutes. These are just little rituals that you can just add into your day. And I'll, I have like, I have like tight muscles up here. So I'll usually just kind of like wake these muscles up here and just kind of remind them to loosen up. And that's when you can start to just do some stretching and some breathing and don't forget to take your frankincense after you put it wherever you're putting it and cup your nose and mouth and take a very big inhalation. I call it a nose to toes breath all the way in. Oh my gosh, I feel that in my lungs. It's doing wonders. And then it just, I can just feel like my voice changes. I feel super relaxed. I'm like ready to conquer the day. And the cool thing about Frank is that you can use it in the morning and you're like awake and alert and calm and you can then use it at night and it puts you right to sleep. I kind of associate it with bedtime because Matt has a bottle right next to his side of the bed. And every night he puts it all over and he does his little breathing routine. It's super cute. And so now like frankincense is just like, ah. Oh. So I take an hour in the bathroom, taking off all my makeup and like making myself all relaxed. And then I get into bed and I get even more aromatherapy because Matt's using his oils. <laughs> it's really nice. All right. So I wanted to show you guys something. I need to show you something. We are going to do a screenshot for a second of the virtual office. I have to show you. And the website's going to be changing soon. But I have to show you. Ooh, I didn't know you could do polls on here. What's going on? That was weird. Um, I have to show you. I went to shop. I went to my virtual office and I, um, oh look, I just cashed in like so many of my rewards points. So I have like none left right now. I just ca cashed in like hundreds. <laughs> so I put the word frankincense up here. Okay. This would be like if I was shopping for frankincense. And so here we have like frankincense oil and then the vitality, the resin, which I've always wanted that, that resin and the resin burner. I don't have it. The sacred frankincense came free last month. So that one is amazing. Can you guys still see me while we're looking at the screen? Okay. So sacred frankincense and frankincense are just slightly different. They're actually a different genus and species, but they're both incredible. We call them the attitude adjusters. You can put a little drop on your crown chakra. Like I showed you, you can put some on your neck. They are just calming, calming, parasympathetic nervous system's best friend. And I want to show you guys something. 68 items in the catalog contain frankincense. And I was going to try to copy and paste this so I could read this to you, but I figured I would sound like an auctioneer if I started to read these off and that I just felt like that would be really weird. <laughs> so just want to show you, look at all these. All the art products contain frankincense. Abundance oil, which I put on the bottom of my feet every morning. So I'm all about bringing in an abundance of joy and happiness and health and prosperity into my life and my family's life. Um, we've got the Animal Sense products, TOA, the T really stands for trauma. So if you have animals that are like um, stressed out, that's what that's for. And what do we know? It has frankincense in it. Um, Awaken, the Bloom Skin Care, 
Um, I love that you can get your frankincense if you're a Valor fan. I am a Valor obsessed. It's like my first love. It's loaded with frankincense and spruce. And all those spruce trees are so big and grounding and calming. So anytime you can get your hands on any of the black spruce, the blue spruce, the Idaho spruce, the um, Idaho Grand Fur, like which I have right here and I'm obsessed with as well, um, try those out. I don't know if it's just me, but I have a major, major calming response anytime. I smell any of the spruce oils. So Valor is loaded with spruce and frankincense and look at the Valor bar soap. So imagine you could actually start to like wash yourself and actually you know, help your parasympathetic nervous system do its thing at the same time. Believe is another beautiful blend. It has frankincense in it and it's a very woodsy Christmas tree kind of smelling um, blend. Love this one. Um, here's the wrinkle cream. Boswellia, Boswellia is actually um, the either the genus or species. I don't remember. I think it's the genus of frankincense. So basically this says frankincense wrinkle cream. Um, and then we have our CBD, which I'm going to get to in a minute when I turn off the share screen. Look at all of these, you guys. The core supplement kit contains frankincense. Um, freedom gathering, gratitude, harmony, highest potential humility. Do you know all of these oils contain frankincense? Like how amazing is this? And then look at the kids oils. Like look at, let's just highlight this entire like area right here. We've got our genius, which helps our kids focus. We have kid power, which helps with bravery. Um, my littlest needs to have oral surgery done and we took him to the dentist today and it was so nice to be able to put a couple oils on before he went in there for his consult. Although quick little side note, because I do want to share this with you because it was a super cute story. The dentist said that they're going to give him a little bit of gas, put him to, you know, kind of make him sleepy, not put him to sleep, take out the teeth and then he's going to wake up and they're going to give him a big thing of ice cream. And I thought the guy was joking because it's the dentist, but he wasn't kidding. So he's giving Gabriel this huge thing of ice cream and Gabriel turned to me and said, this is the best dentist ever. <laughs> so, I just thought that was so funny. But, you know, in case the laughing gas doesn't do its full thing next week, it's so nice to be able to put some frankincense on his chest, some kid power on his wrists. Um, I don't know if any of these stand out to you. Look at this, like the primer for our face contains it. One Heart, which was also a freebie last month. I have like these freebies last month were so nervous system focused. It was just divine. Um, I'm obsessed with One Heart. I'm just going to be loading up with like a million oils. So I'm going to smell extra amazing for Matt tonight. <laughs> okay, then we have our Progestins Plus, which we're going to talk about because we have to. We're gonna save that for a second. It needs its whole another. It needs its whole separate conversation. And then you even have like the tea. There's all of our Valor stuff. Isn't that amazing? So I just wanted to show you guys all of those products right there, all incredibly nourishing for the nervous system. Um, Deb is saying a frankincense vitality in a capsule. You can take that at bed. Yes. Um, Agilis, which just came back into stock, which is uh, helps with acute um, inflammation has the um, turmeric and the frankincense in it. That's an internal use of frankincense. So really, really good stuff, guys. Okay, let's talk about CBD. Then we're gonna talk about a couple of supplements and then I can answer any questions if you have them. So CBD, we could have, in fact, last week we did an entire class just on CBD. Um, CBD actually helps to um, bond with uh, the receptors in your body that would create sen negative sensations like pain or stress or different things like that. So um, I recommend do a little Google search. What are the benefits of CBD? What's so nice about this CBD is for people that don't want THC, um, which is the psychotropic part of the marijuana plant, for people that do not want that, this is THC free. So all you're getting here is CBD um, and Basically what Young Living did was super smart because when they take the plant and they isolate out the CBD, which is, there's our CBD calm, which of course has frankincense in it. <laughs> How could you have a calming product without frankincense in it? Here, I'll put a little bit of that on too. I'm like, and you guys might think I'm like just doing this for the Zoom. This is me every day. Like I am 
I'm waking up, I do all my oils, middle of the day, I'm working here at my computer, I'm doing more oils, we're getting in the car, I'm doing more oils, I'm going to bed, I'm doing more, like, this is my day, all day, every day, people smell me before they see me, this is how I'm able to stay productive and calm. That's, and that's my goal, productive and calm. <laughs> um, so what's so fascinating about this is they isolated the CBD out, which is great, but what's happening is we're losing the THC and the THC and the CBD kind of are a lock and key system and they need to be together for the plant to actually work um, and impact the body. So, you know, Young Living for legal reasons and for different reasons, um, I happen to be a huge fan of THC, but I know a lot of people are not. They took the THC out so, so what's happening? Are we just having the lock and not the key? They brought in the essential oils. And so the essential oils combine with the CBD, the, the terpenes and the chemical constituents from the essential oils um, combine with the CBD and they have something that they call smart spectrum. So full spectrum, if you ever find a full spectrum product that contains THC, if you're being drug tested, if you're driving a car, if you don't want to be a little bit affected um, or get the munchies, you probably want to stay away from a full spectrum product. If you are looking for a non-THC product, the Young Living CBD is amazing. And um, this is the Cool Mint. So I will do every day. Um, just a couple drops, maybe like half, I'm actually running a little bit low here, maybe like half a, um, start low, the, the name of the game is kind of low and slow, I'll do maybe about half a dropper full, um, I would start with maybe a quarter, and I just put it right under my tongue, and I take this as like a daily supplement, every day, if you notice on the bottle, it actually does say external use only, or um, I think it says topical application only, so I, I personally, because I know the ingredients, I've spoken to Nature's Ultra directly. Um, this is kind of a labeling thing. So I choose to apply my CBD topically on my tongue. Okay? And you can make a decision for yourself how you use your CBD. If you don't want to put it on your tongue topically, um, you can put it into your rollers. Um, you can also just put it directly in your hands and just rub it where you need it. I have a lot of neck, shoulder, back stuff. So I'm always, always rubbing oils on my neck and back and shoulders and sometimes my lower back and my hips. So this is really nice if you're going to get a massage, you can bring this and actually have them use this mixed in with their massage oil, which is cool. There's also the CBD balm, of course, that has frankincense in it too. It's a muscle rub, um, joint and muscle rub. And that balm is the balm. Um, so we've got our calm roller. Um, for those of you that think, oh, I'm going to put this on and like fall asleep. No, I don't know anyone that's put, put this on and immediately fall asleep in the morning. If you put it on before bed with the intention of going to bed, it really can help. But a lot of these plants are what we call adaptogens. And so they will adapt to what your body needs in that moment, which is pretty cool. Um, and we talked about our beautiful skin, um, the CBD beauty bomb. All right. So let's Let's, uh, what else, I have, just before I move on, yeah, let's just get into the supplements here. I mean, I have so many oils that I brought out for you, but I think you got the picture from the long list of oils that contain frankincense. <laughs> okay, so my top three supplements here. Um, first of all, any of the Young Living supplements that contain frankincense, just put those on my list. And I think you're like, that was kind of goes without saying at this point of the class. Um, but my top three supplements for nervous system support. Progestins Plus, this is a naturally derived progesterone supplement from yams, okay? And so I already put mine on today, so I'm not gonna put more on right now. Um, I do it once a day on my wrists. I know some people will do the thin skin on their neck. Some people will do right here on their arm. Some people will do their ankle. So you just kind of decide, I don't know. I just do my wrist just because it's easy. And I'll put one or two drops on my wrist. And then I just take the extra and I put it on my... Um, on the thin skin on my neck. And so I have noticed such a difference in using this. Not only am I calmer and more focused, it has helped with my brain fog. All of those like things that came up with the high cortisol levels that you saw, I kind of pretty much had almost every one of them. And so I have noticed huge differences. I've noticed my cycle. So I used to have a five, more like seven day, pretty aggressive, miserable period. And it's now it's like, four to five-ish days, like that last day, ladies, you know, you kind of know that like last day is like not really a day, but it kind of is. So it's like five days 
and it is so much more manageable. The flow is lighter, my cramps are less. And one of the fun little like side effects that I wasn't really expecting from this is this has really helped with libido. I've had three kids. Um, you know, my libido is not what it once was when I was like 22. And so I love it. I love it. It's so nice. And, you know, we know that um, taking, you know, taking part, we'll just leave that at We'll leave it at this because this is not a class on, on sex, pleasure, and passion. But you do know that you know engaging in that kind of activity will actually help to lower your stress levels too. And so it is nice to be able to kind of get get like the group, get back into the groove and like get those feelings back, you know? All right. Cortistop. We talked about cortisol levels. So this is a supplement created by Young Living. They are so smart to actually help support and keep your cortisol levels at bay and where they need to be. So this contains um, preg, I always say it wrong, pregnolo, pregnenolone, all right, pregnenolone, okay, pregnenolone. Um, and then it also has clary sage and frankincense and peppermint. Um, and you know what I really love about this one? So I take two in the morning and on days when I really need it, I take two in the morning and two at night. Um, I'm actually probably going to take two right now, now that it's just in front of me, because I just feel like I can never get like too calm. But this is just a like a white powder inside these capsules. And what's kind of cool about it is that the aftertaste, because there's the wintergreen in there and there's some other cool oils in here, it actually tastes really good. Down the hatch. Um, and so let me just read to you something that you probably should know if you're using Cordestop. Um, it says to take two capsules in the morning before breakfast, if desired, take another two capsules before bedtime. So perfect timing for me. I'm going to be going to bed in about 15 minutes. Um, use daily for eight weeks, then discontinue for about two to four weeks before resuming. And I've been asked so many times now why. The best answer I can give you is I think that it's giving the chance of body to just kind of recalibrate so you don't like become completely dependent on it. But in those two to four weeks that you're off of it, um, there are so many other products that you can use daily, your CBD, your oils, you know, all of the good things, your lotions and, um, and some of those, I mean, you can make your own like scrubs. There's so many beautiful rituals that you can throw into your day. Um, all right, lastly, the last supplement I'm going to chat about um, is unwind. So this is made for kids, but this is a magnesium supplement. And um, so I've been known to take like four of these because um, let me just do a little math on the calculator here. One packet is 42 milligrams. So you know what, if you take four, you get 168 milligrams. I've actually read that if you're dealing with severe stress, um, tension in the body, you can take up to 300 milligrams. So that would mean an adult dose would be like four to eight of these. So I know that that can be a little bit cumbersome and I'm really, really hoping and praying that Young Living will come out with an adult magnesium. The Super Cal does have magnesium in it, but still not like a ton. And I've noticed that like that 300 dose for me is perfect. And I do it first thing in the morning. So what's nice about these, the kids love them too. In fact, Ellie, um, my daughter, she works at a stable and so they were throwing hay around yesterday and her shoulders were really bothering her. They were really knotted and tense and she just had worked, you know, really hard with her body. When our muscles get really tense um, and tight, magnesium will actually help to um, um, not contract, like release the muscles. And so I gave her two. I actually, you know, a dose for a kid is one, but she was really like not the happiest. So I said, why don't you take two? So what's cool about these is they're just like a little pixie stick. Let me just pour out a little so you can see, just like a little, you can see it coming out, right? Just like a little white powder. Actually, I'm just going to put the rest in my tea. You could definitely pour this into your tea and like, you know, drink it like that. I usually just do it like also right down the hatch, kind of like a pixie stick. It's watermelon flavor. Mm. I'm going to sleep really well tonight. <laughs> it would be good in water. It would be good in tea too. Um, so when my sister went into early labor, some of you guys may have heard this story before, um, they hooked her up to an IV that was 
um, magnesium and the magnesium helps to calm the uterus so much that it stops contracting because she was having contractions a little bit too soon and they wanted the baby to stay in a couple more weeks and it worked. It worked like a charm. So clearly you don't want to take so much magnesium that, you know, like actually one half of her face was drooping. Like they gave a very, very, very therapeutic dose of, of magnesium. This is more of like a daily dose. Most of us are magnesium deficient um, and magnesium really, really makes a difference in just helping you stay really nice and calm. Um, it can, if you take too much, and this might be a good thing for you. So something to just like mention, it can bring on some digestive flowing. So if like I've noticed on days that I might take like a little bit too much, you'll kind of get the runs. Nothing horrible. Um, some people like that. They like that, like, you know, cleansing, you know, other people that's uncomfortable for them. So just kind of keep in mind because the magnesium um, is like relaxing kind of everything. Um, but it's something to keep in mind if you're ever feeling a little bit bound up, take a little bit extra magnesium and there you go. Okay, so we've got progestins plus the magnesium, the unwind, and that was unwind, just so you guys know, okay? Um, and cordyceps, those are, those are the main three that I was gonna mention. Um, does anyone have any questions? I have one more little list I wanna read from you, just some, pro uh, read, read to you rather. Um, just like a practical list of things that you can do to take really good care of yourself and um, and care for your nervous system in a beautiful way. And then we're just going to end with a really awesome exercise that I did during our depletion class, but I'm going to give it to you again tonight because it's one of my absolute favorites. We'll do it a little quicker tonight. Um, so you'll get to end on a beautiful nourishing visualization and then go to bed. Okay, so any questions first? All right, I don't see any. So just a couple of things, guys. Find, to nourish your nervous system, find ways to reduce stress, right? Good health depends on removing or reducing whatever stressors we can control. You know, um, clean up your home a little bit. Go through your junk drawers, clean out a closet. Anywhere that you can have like stressful places hiding, spring is a perfect time to do that. Start to take care of your surroundings and your body and you'll notice your stress starts to diminish a little bit. Um, meditation is also a really, really nice one. Um, meditation you can do anytime and there's different types of meditation. So I recommend you find the ones that you like the most. Um, meditation has been known to reduce lactic acid in our muscles, which helps promote better recovery. Um, so many beautiful visualizations you can do. I'm gonna take you through one in just a moment um, that actually kicks your parasympathetic nervous system right in to alignment and just starts to nourish the whole body, which is really beautiful. Um, investing in massage. This is a really, really big one. Massage is known, is scientifically proven to help support your nervous system in a really, really big way. Um, and I, I really recommend find a way to have as many massages as you can. Maybe it's every few months, work up to once a month. If you can, if you can set a goal for, to once a week, you will notice such a difference in your life. Okay. Um, breathing, breathing, breathing works. Um, Breathing actually activates both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system, just depending on how we breathe, right? Because if we started to breathe like <laughs> all of a sudden we're like mimicking a trauma response and um, our body's going to go into fight or flight. Um, but slowed breathing, mindful breathing, um, there's an exercise called box breathing where you can inhale four, hold for four, Exhale four, hold at the bottom for four. If that's uncomfortable, you can start with two, 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 and two. But box breathing is a really beautiful way. If it works for you, I'd pay, pay attention to what your body's telling you. If it's not working for you, find something else. Um, but slowing your breathing intentionally tells your sympathetic nervous system that things are okay. And it activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also do, give you another really quick breathing exercise. You can also inhale, just inhale for a count of two. Hold for a count of five, if you're comfortable with that. 
and just exhale slowly to the count of seven. So inhale for two, hold for five, and slowly exhale for seven. And you'll feel your shoulders drop. You'll feel your body heavy, really nice. Repeat that three times, parasympathetic nervous system, turned on. It's like you hit a button. You can do this while you're at a red light in your car. You can do this while you're doing the dishes. Um, I was just talking to a woman today about cleaning her home. There are so many ways to turn cleaning your home into actually a parasympathetic nervous system delight. You can slowly move. You, when you clean your toilet, you can turn it into a slow, um, beautiful, energetic exercise. So there are a lot of ways to incorporate nourishing your nervous system into your life that you may have not even thought of. Um, nutrition, you, oh, actually I skipped one, yoga. Yoga is known to bring yourself into that parasympathetic nervous system response. Um, it also actually increases your ability to shut down the sympathetic nervous system when you're stressed. So um, the one thing that I will mention here really briefly is that have you ever gone to a yoga class and the teacher says to you, okay, everybody lay down, we're gonna start on our backs today. And you're like, oh my gosh, I've just had the longest day. I wanna like move, I wanna get up, I wanna jump, I wanna start up. So it is so important to get quiet enough so that you can tap into your intuition and that you can pay attention to what your body is telling you. And I'll repeat this, I said this at the beginning, your body's gonna whisper to you until it's screaming at you. So if you are pushing yourself to lay down when you should be standing, that's no good. If you're pushing yourself to stand when you really could be laying down, that's no good. So some people, they might um, need to go for a run. They might need to super activate their sympathetic nervous system. They are breathing heavy. They are running. They are working out. And then they come home and then their parasympathetic nervous system kicks on. So you need to know your own body. And there are a lot of methods and that's a class for a totally another day to tap into your intuition so that you are able to start to pay attention to what your body, your mind, and your spirit is telling you. Um, nutrition, this is kind of a no brainer, but what I love is that Young Living has so many nutritional products that can help support your nervous system. We didn't even talk about Ninja Red and that's, I guess I forgot it because it's just kind of a duh, but I definitely should mention Ninja Red. Ninja Red every single day. The antioxidants are helping to combat, um, um, free radicals in your body and oxidation of your body. Oxidation of your body is stress inside your body. So how amazing um, to be taking your Ninja Red every single day. How many of you take Ninja every day? Limiting alcohol and caffeine, which can aggravate anxiety and trigger stress, something to think about. Um, getting outside in nature is a huge one and the weather is finally getting nice, at least for us here on the East Coast. Although I did just hear on the news that we're supposed to have a third winter. So what the heck is that? I have no idea. <laughs> that my parasympathetic nervous system did not like when I heard that. <laughs> um, but exercise, if you can even just get out, like sometimes I think, I know I'm like this, it's like all or nothing. Like, well, I'm working and I'm taking care of the kids and we're homeschooling and I don't have time for an hour hike around the reservoir. I live near this beautiful reservoir. And I've actually retrained my brain to, you don't need to do an hour hike, Jamie. Get outside for five minutes. Go walk around the house one time. Oh my gosh, it's so healing. <laughs> it's so healing. Um, okay. All right, so we're just gonna end with this beautiful exercise called the golden ball. So I just ask you to get really comfortable. Um, just find a quiet position. You can lay down if you want to. You can do this sitting up. Just feel your, um, your hips and your butt kind of get heavy in your chair or wherever you're sitting. And just open your hands, rest them on your legs and just open them so no closed fists, okay? And actually, if you wanna feel the difference here, if you close your fists really tight right now, you're actually activating your sympathetic nervous system. Now release your hands and you can feel the difference there. So we want nice released hands. We want a jaw that slightly um, drops. So you can actually take your tongue and stick it to the back of um, your front teeth, okay? And by doing that, and just kind of very slightly opening your mouth, um, believe it or not, your jaw 
is linked to your pelvic area. So by relaxing your jaw, if you're really tense today, you can actually just poke your fingers in your jaw and like move it around and just tell it to chill the heck out. I, I do do that sometimes. Um, I'll just like rub my face like this. And sometimes I'll even pull on my ears and give my ears a little like reflexology. So do what you need to do to release and relax. So take a breath. Inhale, slowly exhale. And then what I want you to picture is a beautiful basket or bowl sitting right in between your hip bones, right in your pelvis, pelvic bowl, okay? It could be a wicker bowl. It could be a wood carved bowl. It could be a crystal singing bowl. It could be a crystal glass bowl. Give it a color, give it a texture and just plop it right in there and it just fits perfectly. And take three breaths using your mind's eye, using your, your intuitive gifts here to visualize this bowl sitting right in between your hips, right in your pelvic region. And once you have it pictured and designed, I want you to picture a small golden ball that's sitting in the bowl. Could be the size of a marble, could be the size of a golf ball. Um, it could be even a little bit small, uh, bigger, maybe like a lacrosse ball or something like that, tennis ball. And just imagine it starting to roll around in a circle. So let's actually start, um, let's have it move clockwise first. So it starts at 12 o'clock and it rolls to three and rolls to six and rolls to nine and rolls back to 12 and just imagine it. And you might even, you can close your eyes. No one's looking at you right now. You might even start to move your hips around a little bit and remember to breathe. Just imagine that ball inside the bowl getting brighter. It's gold, it's shining, it's radiant, it's vibrant, and it's just giving off a beautiful, beautiful golden light. And once it's bright, I want you to imagine the ball starting to travel up the back of your spine. And as it moves up your spine, it is bringing comfort, it is bringing nourishment, it is bringing healing, it's bringing relaxation, it's turning your parasympathetic nervous system on. And send the ball all the way up your spine, up, 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 up to the back of your neck. Just have it sit there at the back of the neck for a minute. Mm -hmm give off its warmth, give off its heat, and you may send it back down slowly, almost like you're giving your spine this beautiful massage. You're like giving your nervous system this beautiful massage. And when you're ready, you can send it back up again, up, 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 up. And this time it's going to come up to the top of your head. It's going to sit right on the top of your head. This is your crown chakra. And it's going to roll over the top of the head, down in between your eyes, over the bridge of your nose, down over your lips, down over your throat chakra, past your heart, and back down the front towards your belly button. You can have it sit there for a minute. This is your solar plexus. And then send that back up again, slowly, warm, beautiful, healing, golden ball of light up, 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 up to the top of the head. And when you're ready, it can roll down the back of the spine nourishing, healing, relaxing. It's just melting away stress from the day as it's going down your back. And we're going to have the ball, the ball go back into the bowl where it lives and maybe just circle around this time counterclockwise. If you're having a hard time visualizing this, this is okay. Visualizations take practice. It could take days or weeks or months for you to get good at this, so no judgment. Do your best to visualize this ball going around a few times and then just have it sit still. And when you're ready, you can slowly blink open your eyes and maybe wiggle your fingers a little bit, wiggle your toes a little bit and remind yourself that that ball of golden healing light is with you all the time. You can do this exercise as many times as you want. You can send the ball around 10 times, two times. You can send it up and down as much as you need. It's a beautiful exercise to do if you're having trouble um, going back to sleep. 
if you get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and then you're laying in bed and you're like, oh, that is something that you can do. Get your frankincense out, get your CBD calm out. I always like to keep those by my bed. So if I'm having trouble falling back to sleep. I put on these relaxing oils, they start to do their thing and then I'll do a visualization and I'm usually back asleep in a few minutes. All right, well, it is 9.04. So I did my best to get through that in an hour. I hope that that was helpful. Um, does anyone have any additional questions? Oh, you're very welcome, Cheryl. I do hope that was helpful. Those of you that attended the depletion class, I did that um, visualization on that one as well. And um, you kind of can't get enough of that golden ball. That golden ball is, is a really, really special one to do. Um, I recommend popping on YouTube and finding guided visualizations or guided, and re guided relaxations for stress, for sleep. There are so many and you can get into a routine of using your oils and doing those at the same time and like you're in really good shape. Well, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, what is one thing you learned? I'm actually going to stop the recording. So thank you for watching. And um, if you are watching the Essentially Powerful channel, um, check out all the others because we have so many amazing classes here for you.